Imagine that. GG boys. U block origin. Wait, what? This extent. What? Huh? Huh? It doesn't say that. It, do it doesn't say that. That, that. That's not what it says. I'm not seeing it. Chrome it does? Okay. Give me a minute. We're gonna do that right now. Hmm. Hmm. One more. Unsupported extensions. To better protect your privacy, you have to stay up to date with the new requirements, remove the extension, or find an alternative. What the fuck? I think this might be a false alarm, guys. I really do. I think this might be a false alarm. Because if you look at the other ones that are also ad blockers, none of these other ad blockers have this. It's not. The other ones allow ads. Ublock is the only one that really works. So you're saying that the other ones don't have it because they don't work that well, and Ublock has it because it does work that well? Is there any evidence of that, or is it just something that people are saying? Because it, that sounds very convenient. I mean, it sounds like a conspiracy theory, guys. Let, let, let's be honest. Is this a conspiracy theory? There's a lot of evidence? Okay, give me one example. It's Manifest V3. It's true it works on YouTube ads. They're specifically removing the functionality that lets uBlock work properly. That's why they made the light version. Can you explain what you mean by this? Because I want to understand this. And and I don't I don't know I don't know enough about this. So can you explain this? I'll I'll be right back. Yeah. Th this is crazy. So what do you mean by this manifest V3 shit? The Chrome manifest V3 restricts the way that ad blockers can interact with Chrome. Let me look this up right now. <sighs> okay, wow. Ad blocker not working on Chrome, here's what to do. So, the changes introduced by Manifest V3 directly impact how ad blockers operate. Chrome will limit their effectiveness. In some cases, Chrome may disable your current ad blocker altogether. Oh my god. How the fuck did I not know about this? When did this happen? Do they have a date for this article? Google's Manifest V3 update for Chrome extensions has hindered the effectiveness of some ad blockers. A recent update to Chrome's extension platform has left many ad blocker users scratching their heads. Google plans to replace its older, more versatile extension system, v Manifest V2, with a more restrictive Manifest V3. Announced in 2019, the controversial replacement has faced numerous delays, but the Chrome team now confirms the transition is happening. And so this is what the timeline is. Let's see what this is going to be. So... June 3rd, 2024, the Manifest Phase 2, the Manifest, Manifest V2 phase out begins. Oh no. Like any big launches, it'll happen over time. Yeah, sure. Wow. Um, and, and this is why it matters, right? And so if you look at um, images, where's the market share for browsers? This is for 2018. Do we have an earlier one? Uh, or a newer one. Let me see if I can find one. Chrome's rise to dominance. Okay, here we go. So if you look at, like, look at everybody is using Chrome. Chrome is, like, the most popular one by a fucking mile. I don't see the issue. So, this is basically what the issue is. It's that Google Chrome has effectively created a massive market for themselves where... It seems like over 60% of people that are using a internet browser are using Chrome. This is not a monopoly. Having 60% of the market is not a monopoly. However, there are a lot of people that are using it. 
And so Google Chrome has a massive market share. It has more than double the next person and it has the biggest market share, the majority market share in totality, like over 50% of the market share. And what they're doing is they're making it to where now you can't make ad blockers as effective with Google Chrome. Why is that? Well, because Google also sells Google ads with Google AdSense and Google AdWords. So that's what happens. It's a significant overall to extensions, including ad blockers that function within the Chrome browser. Many organizations like the Electronic Frontier Foundation have disagreed with Google. Um, yeah, of course, right? What a surprise. Why some ad blockers stopped working on Chrome. In essence, the manifest is a new set of rules. In some cases, Chrome may disable your current ad blocker altogether. As a result, you may encounter various issues with your ad blocker on Chrome. Some common problems include more ads appearing on the website you visit, slower page times, or a general sense that your ad blocker isn't performing as efficiently as it once did. Many are frustrated with their ad blocker not working in Chrome, particularly when trying to filter out YouTube ads, which also, by the way, is owned by Google, um, which also makes Chrome. So you see how this happens, right? And uh, some users have noticed Adblock Plus not working on Chrome, which has raised concerns. Guys, I think that you're right. I initially didn't believe people saying like, oh yeah, it's it's only being canceled because it's good. Because like that sounds like the most fucking dumb thing to say. I'm convinced you were right. No. No, I I I, th I think that's what's happening. It's the truth, yeah. But it, it, it but like really that sounds it sounds crazy. Retards racer. Yep. Well, why did they get rid of that one? Because it's the best one. I can't believe it. Uh, it's ridiculous. How does this happen? It's 100% effective. Yes. It, it's crazy to so install it on your Firefox. No, I, I, ha I already have it on my Firefox. Um, how to find an ad blocker that works. Yeah, this, this, this is going to, th th this section is going to get longer every year. Um, oh my God. Using alternative browsers. Firefox has stated that it will continue supporting Manifest V2, while Chromium-based browsers may have the flexibility to maintain Manifest V2 support for some time. Uh, man. Man, that is crazy. Manifest V2 has caused some ad blockers to lose effectiveness or stop working altogether. <sighs> well. We had a good run. You have Adblock Plus, not Ublock Origin. Um, do I have Adblock Plus? Oh, I do. Okay, yeah, there's this one. Well, it works really well for me. I guess so. So Google has basically nearly cornered the market with browser uh, with browser approval or browser usage. And now that they've cornered the market with browser usage, they're then taking their browser and then making it to where ad blocking doesn't function on their browser. Okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. Right, okay. Real smart, right? Time to not be censored? I mean, I guess so. They'll lose a lot of people. You think they're going to lose a lot of people? Don't you think that they probably A-B tested this to see if that's really true or not? Like, you really think that Google doesn't know what people are going to do? They have... Google has... The only people that probably have a more extensive data network than Google, there are three things that have more extensive data, data networks than Google, maybe four, right? You have the US government, China, and maybe Mossad. And maybe Russia, maybe, you know, it, it, like maybe something in like the, you know, in, in Britain and you, maybe. Like Google in terms of a private company has the most extensive data collection and data aggregation system in the entire world. If you think that they're going to do something like this without knowing what they're talking about, you're crazy. They absolutely know what they're doing. People are lazy and stupid and they won't switch if they're used to it. Absolutely. Imagine what features they could have developed with money uh, that went into creating this.
Well, I mean, they did. They developed a feature that allows them to, uh, you know, block the best ad blockers so they can focus on pushing ads on their other websites. I think it makes sense, right? Vertical integration. It is the most profitable thing that you can possibly do whenever you're in business. And Google is showing a masterclass in that right now, which I think is pretty fucking funny. So you block origin, the most effective ad blocker is probably not going to be supported for very long because Google has decided to change the rules. How convenient. Yep. But Google is not infallible. They tried streaming with Stadia and it failed. Yeah, but they tried... Stadia, like, cloud gaming is the future. It's just that it's not the future yet. And I think Google was too early to the party with cloud gaming. And Microsoft made the same mistake in the, in the late 90s. Uh, Microsoft made a tablet in the late 90s, but they were just too early to market and the public wasn't ready for it yet. So yeah, no, I, I, I feel like that's not really true always, right? I mean, of course that's what happens. But Google, I think cloud gaming in 50 years, I think that almost all of us will be doing some form of cloud gaming. Uh, unless some kind of like crazy, like new type of techno technological innovation comes out, I think that's what's going to happen. I could be wrong though. Uh, that's just my opinion. People are saying go back to Firefox. I never left. I've I've always I have stayed true and loyal to Firefox for 20 years. Hopefully, let's let's hope for 20 more. Right? Uh, that's it. And so I'm gonna stick with them. Firefox plus uBlock Origin is the way. There you fucking go. And by the way, I know some people use Opera GX. Some people use Brave. Maybe they're great. I'm good for you. You know, like, awesome. I have what I have that works for me. So, yeah. I haven't been using Opera. I haven't seen an ad for years. Good for you.